Hello everyone, my name is Idrupa and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set up and install EF Phone, which is a custom phone script into your guys' Cubicle 5M server. So first things first, all you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below, which brings you guys right here to the EF Phone download page on GitHub. All you guys are going to want to do is click this green code button right here, and then we're going to click download zip. It's going to download as a zip file, obviously, so open it on up with WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever zip opener you want to use. I'm going to minimize to our desktop here where our 5M server is set up, obviously making sure that it is set up on Cubicore. If it isn't, then just be sure to go back on one of my most recent videos that I've uploaded, and it shows you guys how to set up a Cubicore 5M server. But from here, go inside of the EFO main, and you guys will see we've got the basics file structure for a script, and it's pretty simple to install. A lot of people think that installing a phone requires a lot of framework edits, but for this one, it's actually really simple and easy. And as long as you already have the SQL, so when you don't even need to use the EF phone SQL. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to our 5M server folder, go inside of TX data, Cubicore framework, and then resources. Inside of the QB folder right here, we're going to scroll on down until we find the QB phone. We're literally just going to delete this. We're going to go back to the resources. And usually I'd recommend every time you add QB mods to add them into a different folder. And we're going to call it QB additional. So right click, new folder, brackets, and then QB, and then additional. And then a closing bracket. So now this is a subcategory folder like the rest of them. So in here, we're going to grab this EF phone folder. We're going to rename it to EF phone on its own without the main. And we're going to drag and drop it into our resources folder. From here, we're going to copy the name of this subcategory folder we just made. Go back to Cubicore Framework, and we're going to open our server.cfg on up. From here, scroll on down to the last ensure line. Press enter twice. We're going to do two hashtags. We're going to do a little subtitle, QB additional mods. And we're going to type ensure, and then paste in that folder name. So now everything we put in that folder will be automatically insured. Be sure to file and save and close it on down. This video is sponsored by my new website, hdnetwork.one, your one-stop shop for all your 5M server needs. We offer 5M server hosting to make sure you guys can keep your 5M server running 24 seven and not put your IP address on display for the public to see. And we also offer pre-built 5M server packages where using the exclusive HD Network application, you can make a fully modded 5M server with 120 plus mods in just one click. You can check all of that out down in the description below by using the link www.hdnetwork.one. From here, for the sake of making it easy for you guys, I am going to show you how to install this EF Phone SQL. Just so you guys know how to install SQL files in the future. So grab this and drag and drop it onto your desktop. And we're going to close the download on down. We no longer need this. Come to your XAMP. Obviously, it's going to be already started if you've already run your 5M server. If not, start Apache and MySQL and hit admin next to MySQL. It's going to load your PHP My Admin page, which is essentially the page you go to to edit your database. A lot of people use an application called Heidi SQL. Honestly, I really couldn't recommend it. To me, it's really complicated and you don't actually need it because you don't need to download anything because it comes installed anyway on XAMPP. You just go to your browser. So I wouldn't recommend it, but it's up to you. I find it super complicated to use, especially for something you have to download additionally. But make a note of your framework name. Obviously, I have quite a few frameworks set up, so you have to find the right one here. So make sure you select the right framework. If you've already installed only one on your server, on your PC even, then you're only going to have one. So just select the right one. And once you found your framework folder, we're going to go to import. We're going to go to choose file, show all files, go to your desktop and select that EF phone SQL file. Hit open, scroll on down and just click import. From here, it's going to start adding all the cables that we need, but you guys can see because we've already got Cubicore Framework installed, it's not going to add anything because it's just going to say the table already exists. So it's pretty much done nothing, but that's just good for you guys to know for any other mods you want to install in the future. From here, we can just minimize to a desktop, come back to the mod quickly, go inside of that QB folder and find the EF phone folder, and we're going to open up the config.lua. You guys will see in here, we can literally configure everything that we want. So we can change all the color icons for the apps. You know, we can change it if it's running on Linux. It's pretty easy to understand. Obviously, you've got the timeouts, the call repeats, the open phone key binding. So by default, that's 244, which is M. So I wouldn't recommend changing that because that's just the default cubicle one. So keep it at that. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I wouldn't really recommend messing around with these if you don't know what you're doing but this is obviously the settings file for the script. But from here, we should be good to actually launch our 5M server and try out this new phone. 
And once you guys have loaded it in game, all we need to do is instead of pressing M for the cubicle phone, we just press M and you guys will see we've got this new beautiful EF phone. So all you need to do is just press this little fingerprint button, sort of like unlocking it, and you'll be taken to the home screen. It's actually a really, really great mod. Super simple to install, unlike a bunch of the other phones. Obviously, we've got the bank and everything is actually pretty well made. It's pretty simple and easy to use. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and be sure to comment down below what video you guys want to see next. Also, be sure to check out my website, hgnetworks.one, if you guys are looking to set up a 5M server, as it can set you up a fully modded one in literally just one click with our exclusive auto installer and we can even give you server hosting as well. Other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.